Want to create a wood grain finish without all the sanding? Let me show you how. The Retiquet Tabletop Kit will give me a real wood finish right over the old finish, so no sacrificing the gorgeous wood grain look. Start by wiping down the table with one part alcohol and one part water. If your table has a glossy finish on it, use 120 grit sandpaper to lightly scuff it up to give it some tooth. Now that the table's ready, it's time to prime. I used Retiquet Wooden Primer to prime the entire tabletop. It's a high coverage primer and contains 60% of wood fibers. I applied two coats with a flat brush and let it dry completely before moving on. While the primer dried, I moved on to painting the base. We used Retiquet Ultra Teak paint in alabaster. This paint contains a built-in primer and sealer so we could get right to painting without any extra prep. The coverage was absolutely amazing and I only had to use two coats. Now that the primer's dry, it's time for the fun part, adding the wood grain. We used the wooden stain. It's the newest technology of gel stain that actually contains wood fibers. Apply a thin layer with a flat brush, and while the stain is still wet, run the wood grain tool through the stain in the direction of the natural wood grain. The smaller wood grain tool came in handy for the sides. Once the grain portion is dry, add the last layers of stain. Use the same wooden stain you used for the graining. Brush it on with a flat brush. Here's the difference the stain makes. The one on the right side has not had any stain except for the graining. The one on the left has already been stained once. You can apply multiple coats of the Retiquet wooden stain. With each coat, it will get darker. We went with two. I am in deep love with this walnut color. Now let's seal the tabletop. The Retiquet Tabletop Kit also includes a sealer to protect the finish. I applied two coats total, moving in the direction of the grain. My favorite part about this sealer is that it won't yellow the finish like most sealers do. Now it's time to work on the chairs. The plan is to paint them the same alabaster that we painted the base of the table and also to recover the seats. They were a little damaged and kind of in rough shape, so I gave them some light sanding and then painted them with the alabaster. They already look so much better. Now it's time to replace these cushion covers. I simply removed the old fabric and all of the staples. That took a long time, y'all. Once I got the old fabric off, I replaced the cushion and added this really pretty plum fabric. Can you even believe this is the same table and chairs? I absolutely love the walnut finish and it feels and looks so real because the wooden primer and wooden stain have over 60% real recycled wood fibers in it. And thanks to the Retiquet Tabletop Kit, I didn't have to spend hours and hours sanding. The alabaster color pairs perfectly with the tabletop and I love the matte chalk finish.